it's Ant Man eight seven two. Um, today it's pretty obvious. It's uh, the Mac jailbreak. I am gonna be using Black Rain for the Mac. I was thinking about doing um, Punish Tool, but Black Rain really is uh, simpler to make a video on. Um, so here you go. Here's the iPod Touch two G. Obviously, you can see the firmware, um, and it's not jailbroken. It only has one page, and there's Spotlight. Um, so I'm just gonna plug my device in okay and iTunes is opening and I'm just gonna um, close iTunes because I don't need it open okay and you're gonna wanna go to this website the link will be in the description it's blackrain.com um, if you did see my Windows tutorial you do know what this is um, so I uh, you're gonna wanna click the um, the Mac logo to download the OSX version of Black Rain. Um, so there you go. I'm just gonna quit iTunes, and you're gonna want to open up Black Rain. I have it in my dock because I jailbreak a lot of iPods. Um, so just go a little mobile right here. Um, it's very you know very simple. It has a button. It says Make It Rain on the button. Um, so I'm just gonna uh, click that. Quick, just get everything set up. So I'm gonna click it. Make sure your device is plugged in. Okay, and it really does everything for you. So there you go. Just quit iTunes. Okay, just quit it. Don't close the window. Just quit the iTunes. Okay, so you get this little thing. Just don't worry about that. Just click OK. And quit iTunes now okay there you go so done wait for reboot you can go ahead and quit black rain too it's solely on the iPod now you can even unplug your device it does not matter really so basically what it's doing it's that little spinner it's adding black rain the application onto your iPod and once you have black rain on your iPod it's pretty simple from there you just um, you really just install the applications that you choose um, I'm gonna obviously show you guys that so um, by the way I am recording with my 3GS right now and the quality is fantastic okay so there you go it's rebooting you do not need it plugged in because it's just gonna open up iTunes and say it's gonna start sinking. So okay, there you go. Unlock it. Slide to the next page, and there's Black Rain right there. So it's a fantastic way to jailbreak your iPod. Let's open up Black Rain. And make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi area. Does not matter. I'm just gonna install Cydia. I'm just gonna install Cydia because you can always go back and install a different application. So you can always go back as long as you don't delete Black Black Rain. So I'm gonna click Install on Cydia. Because it uh, it does not delete black rain. You you have the option to delete black rain, but it never forces you to. So <clears throat> okay, it's respringing the iPod. Uh, respring is really just a different way to restart. So there's City. I'm gonna open it up really quick, and it's just gonna reorganize. That's what City does the first time you open it. So I'm just gonna quit it really quick. So Black Rain is always there. You can always install um, Icy and Rock again, or you can always uninstall Black Rain. Now I'll pay attention to what it says. Uninstalling Black Rain will not remove your Black Rain jailbreak. It will remove th this installation app. It's not going to remove Cydia, it's not going to stop you from changing your theme, it's just going to get rid of that app so it's not there anymore. If you like 
say you want to install rock later but not right now keep black rain on there because then you can install it later so once again it's uh it's optional to uninstall it doesn't do anything if you do thank you guys for watching hopefully you're subscribed to me for more jailbreak tutorials on later firmwares and uh, later operating systems